This is a big patio. You like it, bud? I love it. You love it? Mm -hmm. Want some more of it? <laughs> That's the thumbnail right there. <laughs> Let's have your company come up from the driveway, dude. Boom, 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 boom. Yep. Hey! Everybody's like, oh, hey! Oh, this is a sick staircase. Wow, this is sick. How's it going, everyone? Today is the day after Memorial Day. Benny, thanks for your service, bud. Hey, you're welcome, dude. Appreciate it. So we did a bunch of things this morning off camera. Where we left off on Friday was over here. You guys saw that. The pad is curing up very nicely. We ended up having no cuts around that pad, which is amazing. We shifted it over about a half an inch originally we were going to do about an inch gap around the whole thing but we shifted a half inch and that lined it all up mint a lot less cuts that way dude a lot less ben's been hard at work doing the border this morning that really makes it pop Made a bunch of cuts around this AC unit that did not line up perfect, so that's the way that goes sometimes. He's making his way downtown, wrapping around the corner, bud. <laughs> so I'm not going to lie to you guys, the regular viewers on my channel, you know how much I try not to do four ways in a patio. But with the way that this design works, or this three-piece design that Nico Lock offers, it's uh, it's really hard to not get four ways. And you know why, Ben? Two of the same shapes. That's right. Two squares in the batch. You got a big square, small square, and then a medium-sized rectangle. So it is pretty much impossible to not put a four-way. You can make it happen, but you'd end up wasting a lot of pieces that don't fit. But the good thing is that the joints are really tight, so it's hard to see them. But there's one right there. And there's definitely a good amount of them in here. No $100 offered on this patio, guys. There's another one. But this is the small square. That's the rectangle. And then the big square. So... When you have two squares, you're most likely going to have four ways. But it looks mint. I really like the color tones. Looks like natural stone. Obviously, you just saw me compact that area. We graded it off, got it to height, compacted it. Now I'm ready to lay some screed rails and start screeding. So I think we're going to be a little bit short on pavers because the hot tub slab Actually, we shrunk it down a little bit, so we used a little bit more pavers than we expected. About a half a pallet or less than a half a pallet. So we're going to try to screed that and lay out all the pavers we have so I know what I need for the morning. Because that's what you got to do in business, Ben. Hey, business is business. You got to know. 
it's gonna be hot this week it's supposed to get up to uh, high 80s low 90s at the end of the week today's tuesday tuesday what i think the 30th 31st something like that let me check yeah today's tuesday the 30th may 30th so we're doing well less than a, a week here so far between excavating back filling doing the hot tub pad screed and laying so let's just get right into it time to screed So we're using our level to gauge the height because that level is the thickness of a paver. So we want it just a touch over where the paver is going to meet because as we screed, the chipstone is going to go slightly below the screed pipe. Plus we have to account for compaction. So we got to make sure we set that level about a quarter of an inch higher than where we want to meet it. Then we got to make sure we got our eighth of a slope, which we don't quite yet. I got to set this pipe in a little bit more, but that's how we gauge the um, the height that we need when we're adding on to where the paver stopped. Looks good. So these three are set. I'm going to come in and dump a nice bucket of chipstone in that area. After you compact the stone, you don't really want to drive on it per se with the machine, but it's going to be much quicker for me to dump a bucket or two of stone in here. So as long as you can go in nice and straight and come back out straight without messing the stone up too much, you can do it. But don't go on it and then turn because then you got to rake it out, tamp it again so it's nice and tight. But I think we're going to be alright if I just go in and out straight. Looks like it did okay. Except I'm about to drive into the ledge. <laughs> A little bit on the corner got messed up, but I can fix that. How you doing everybody? Hope you're well. Thanks for checking out this video. I know it's been a while since I uploaded and it's just been a slow pace um, uploading schedule for me this summer. I've been a lot busier than expected which is not a bad thing at all. Business is doing well. I'm getting a lot of leads, a lot of jobs lined up and um, I'm looking forward to finishing this season strong. It's September 14th as I'm editing this video right now. And I've got a couple months of work lined up going into middle of October, 
um, early November already. So that is a good thing. It's just left me with little time to edit and upload videos. Thankfully, my wife's been able to put all these ones that I am getting up together 90% of the way. And then I come in here and I do the, the last 10% to finish it up and upload it. So without her, I'd have far less videos up here. So thanks to her and thanks to all of you guys for the continued support. The ones that are always watching my uploads, I appreciate it. The comments, the feedback, everything. Thank you guys all very much. Hope you're enjoying this video. If so, hit that thumbs up. Um, but this was a really cool project. When it comes down to, to screening for pavers, it's really about being precise with every every step of the process. The compaction, the um, the backfill and the compaction is really important. you got to make sure you get your base stone really close to the proper pitch that you want your pavers to be. And that sets you up for an easier time setting up your screed rails and actually screeding. You take your time doing the base prep and it makes this uh, this screening process much simpler. So now we're gonna get into some more detail about these pavers. Good morning. Today is Wednesday, May 31st. Then he's stretching out, getting Got ready. Gotta stretch. Got to, dude. Playing with stuff like this, man. Oh my goodness. Get hurt. This whole area is good to go. We left a nice pile of pavers there last night. Benny's going to be following me like he did yesterday with the border. We made it over to here. You got the inner band up to the corner here. Oh wow, check out that stretch. You gotta get a little bit more than that, dude. That's at like 87 degrees. You need a 90. Get it up a little higher. <laughs> Just stand on one leg, dude. Pick up your right one, put it over your head. <laughs> so if you watched the videos previously, we have two different slopes going into this patio here. The porch was kind of in like a high spot. Everything sloped that way, this way, and that way. So we broke this down into pretty much two sections. From here over, it sloped towards us and also towards the side yard. And from right here over, it sloped towards us and also to the right. So there's a lot of a lot of different slopes on the patio and the surface water should have plenty of ways to escape leaving no puddles behind like i mentioned before i am a little bummed out about having to put in four ways but it all blends in pretty nicely these pavers are growing on me i'm usually not a big fan of the tight joints but these look good the the way the color tones mix in together looks like natural stone So, I'm going to keep laying over here. Benny, you ready to keep going on border, dude? Yep. Yep. Yep, yep. You got the blues today, huh? Yep. Nice. I like the blues. Yeah. I like the grays, too, though. Mm-hmm. What's the next color I should get, dude? I vis Really? You think so? Yeah, why not? Like, high-vis yellow? I don't know. Hmm. I do like the blues. Look like traffic cones. You know what we gotta do? We gotta get shirts that are the same color as that bucket that Trav was arguing with me about. Oh yeah. Orange. And then put instead of find us on YouTube, put this is an orange shirt. <laughs> Make Trav wear it. <laughs> you like my orange shirt? These pavers ain't growing on you, dude. Not really. 
I'm honestly kind of liking them better than the Blue 60. Even though you have to put four ways in them? I mean, I wish I didn't have to do that, but like I said, man, I'm not like, my eyes aren't getting completely attracted to them like they would on a Blue 60 patio. If I had as many four ways on a Blue 60 as I do here, it would stick out like a sore thumb, dude. But you can't see it. Because of how tight it actually is. Yeah, it's just so tight that they kind of, the joints, you can see them, but they also like fade into each other, you know? Those are, dude, that's a 16th inch joint, bro. That's like pretty much the smallest joint you can get with pavers right there. Yeah. That's the one thing that's pretty crazy about them, but it's also got its own, its own look, dude, you know? Kind of looks more pool patio-ish. Pool patio-ish, yeah. Yeah, I agree with that. But I think that these color tones, these grays, Look a little bit more natural than the Teco block. I'll be honest with you. You guys, tell me what you think in the comments. If you like these pavers more than the Teco block Blue 60 that I've used on a few projects. And you know what? We'll even throw a third option in there. The Genest Grand Katahdin pavers. Those are really nice, man. But the, but every all three of those options, bro, are its own yeah. look. If Genest had the, this... Uh... Well, they did, dude, because we did another one like this, remember? Ian's house. What? Ian's house, we did that. Genest. Genest pavers like this. Well, like Tycho Blocks Blue 60. Yeah. Genest yeah, sells them. More similar. Yeah. Color tones than this. And joint sizes. The yeah, joint yeah. sizes ain't this tight. <clears throat> I don't know. There's a lot of, like, I like talking about that. There's a lot of different options you can go with pavers, bro, oh, you know? Nice. And, the, and, like, people are like, oh, they're all kind of the same, aren't they? Nah, not really. Depends on like your style, what you want to see, yeah. what you like. But it's also why I like using like multiple things because it kind of gets boring using the same product over and over, dude. You know? Yeah. I want to see something different. Yeah, something new. Yeah. And this is different. I like, I'm starting to like these pavers a lot. All right, man. You ready to, ready to work? Or you want to take a break? <laughs> I'm not done. Huh? Never done. I'm always talking. Even when I'm at home, I'm talking to him. With a, an address, commencement speech. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> share to clout holders bro yeah you're not a shareholder you're a clout holder without a doubt dude that's hilarious ABC hammers, can't see it anymore, but it's a 5.5 pound in the USA. really just kind of looking for which edges are sticking up more than others you want to nestle them all down 
And then when we go to poly sand this, we're going to tamp it again anyway to settle everything in. So that's really all you need to do. I do get questions a lot if I compact the bedding stone, but it's not, it's only an inch and compacting it is pretty much useless because you can compact it all you want. It's still going to stay loose. And then um, <clears throat> when you go to screed it, it's going to loosen it up even more. So you do not need to compact the bedding stone. Just screed it out loosely, lay the pavers, hammer them in to set them, and then they're going to get tamped again when we poly sand. Looks good. So we used a string line to set this whole thing in and it lined us up pretty nice. Haven't been using a string over there. Just been stepping back and checking it out after we lay a few layers. And everything's looking nice and straight still. So I'm just gonna keep sending it without the string. Benny. We're short. We're short. It's all right. Full pallet. Probably a little less than a full pallet, but I'm gonna get a full pallet. Dude, these pavers are really nice, man. They're starting to really grow on me. Especially look at them on the camera, dude. They look awesome. Wow, better than my eyes. It's like a garage floor, right? Mm. <laughs> Flat. <laughs> Flat. I don't know, man. The color blend looks sick, in my opinion, dude. I like these pavers a lot. In the border, pow! Right in the kisser, dude. Nice job, dude. So I'm headed to grab that and get the other pavers, main pavers, and then I also need to grab a little bit more of inner border paver, the dark contrasting one. We're going to be just shy of having enough for that as well. So... I'll grab that, some concrete for the edges, and Ben's gonna stick around here and keep going on the border in the heat of the moment. Dude, I'm gonna have to buy a tent tomorrow. Oh yeah. Friday's gonna be 90s, bro. Whoa. Back with the pavers.
steps for this. I don't think I can reach it. Oh yeah, definitely gonna have to grab the straps. So here's where this door, being this way, is extremely frustrating. And anybody who operates these skid steers know. So if I were to be by myself right now, and I wanted to put these forks as close to that pallet as I could, and then wrap a strap around it so I can pull it back, once I put my forks up on that dump trailer, I can't open this door. I'm stuck. I'm, I'm trapped in this machine with this door on. I can't open the door because the the boom's gonna be lifted up so high that the door wedges wedges open, or wedges shut. So I, I'm just kind of stuck in the cab, which is just something I completely hate. I mean, if this was my actual machine, again, I'd probably have this thing off. So I wouldn't have to deal with that stuff. But then again, if I start getting into a dusty situation or it starts raining on me, now I don't have the door on to kind of protect the dust or the rain, or keep the AC in if it's really hot. So these door, um, you know, designs just really make a big difference when it comes to buying a machine. And you can ask anyone who buys them, it makes a big difference. Because right now, I gotta go get Ben to help me just because I can't get out when I get up there. Crazy. Silly. Hey bud, can you come here for a minute? I need your help. I'd love to not need your help, but I'm going to be stuck in the machine and I need you to hook up a toe strap. I just went on a huge rant, dude, on camera here about, about how frustrating these doors are. I was saying that like if I wanted to, if I was by myself, dude, and I had to do this move, once I lift the forks up and put them in the dump trailer, I can't get out. Yeah. You know, you know the deal. Bulls yep. This is what I'm talking about right here. Door's stuck, can't get out. Kubotas and I'm sure some other machines have an overhead door so then you can climb out of the machine still. Benny, nice job, dude, while I was gone. That really looks good, man. You got some chipstone in this little joint here around the hot tub. That'll help with any drainage if there's any splashing or anything with the hot tub when they put it in. It looks like he started working on putting the chipstone in the back, too. So the pavers are made by Nico Lock, Stone Ridge XL is the style, and then Granite City is the color tone. This is how they come on the pallet. You get two big squares, five small rectangles, and two small squares. Every layer is the same.
How's it going everyone? Today is Monday, June 26th, 2023. And we just came back here. It's been a couple weeks since we finished this patio, but we were waiting on one additional step to lift this staircase up. Benny! Hey. Ready to go disc golfing? Ready. Putters only. We stopped there a couple weeks ago so we could do the step and then finish that walkway off. Benny, the grass is coming in excellent, huh, bro? It really is. Dude. Excellent. Baby grass? Baby grass, baby fescue. It's a little bit of rye mixed in. That ledge is all exposed. The homeowner did a bunch of clearing over there. Me and Ben did from here to here. But that's a nice view from your patio. I just have to move this chair back. It was over here. Hot tub pad cured well. Be able to throw something on there at some point. This is a big patio. You like it, bud? I love it. You love it? Mm -hmm. Want some more of it? <laughs> That's the thumbnail right there. <laughs> that was kind of creepy. Oh, that looks good, man. It's very good. Let's have your company come up from the driveway, dude. Boom, 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 boom. Yep. Hey, everybody's like, oh, hey. Wow, this is so sick. Wow, this is so sick. Yeah. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I have never used these large pavers before from Nico Lock. I do like them, minus the fact that you just have to throw four ways in. But like I said before, the joints are just so tight that they're really hard to, to see, like most, most pavers. I'm really happy with the end result. Ready to get out of here, bro? Ready, bro. Cool, man. Nice job. Tell these people goodbye. Goodbye. You guys know the deal. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If so, hit that like button. Subscribe if you're not already. Till the next one. God bless. Peace. Benny, I forgot to show him the bird bath, dude. Sacrifice the yeah, you're right. <laughs>